Hello, I'm Liam Rockery from Horizon Science Academy, Cleveland High School, and this is the Cartesian Diver experiment with the Hook Challenge. Now, what you're going to need are either a large plastic cup or a beaker filled with water. You're going to need two pipettes, a couple of strands of wire, two washers, and a two liter bottle with a cap filled all the way to the brim with water. Now, to make the, uh, the diver, you first put a washer on the pipette and you cut it. But since we already did here, we're not going to do that. And so for the hook challenge, we wrap the different colors of wire around. See, this one has a hook shape, this one's a loop shape. What this one does is it goes down and it's supposed to okay, hook onto the other one. Now, what you do is you fill up the pipette with just enough water so that it just barely floats off this, floats above the water. Because if it has like too much water in it, hold on. It will sink. Now if you if you fill it all the way with water, it will sink all the way to the bottom of the bottle. Which is what we are going to do with this one. We're going to give, put in just enough so that it sinks. Um, yeah, so this is the right amount. See how it just barely flows above the water? Now, if we put in too much. Uh, it just it should sink to the bottom. So basically, you take the two, you put them in the uh, two liter bottle. You're gonna squeeze the side, and it should sink. Now, the Cartesian diver is a classic science experiment that is that is hundred years old. Um. It's named for a Frenchman, René Descartes, who made huge contributions in the fields of philosophy, math, and science. The original uh, divers, they were, made of, they were made out of glass medicine droppers or delicate glass ampules. Now, if you have the water levels adjusted correctly in the new unbreakable divers, you may notice that as you squeeze the bottle, the water in the diver rises. And this is because the air trapped inside the pipette, as you squeeze the bottle, compresses into a smaller space. And the water, in as the water rises, it increases the weight of the diver. Basically, it becomes less buoyant, and it sinks. And... Look, I smoke here real quick. Excuse me. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So, and so as I release it, the compressed air in the pipette 
expands, forcing water out the bottom of the pipette, which allows it to float to the top. Now, please note that if it takes a really hard squeeze for it to sink, it means there's not enough air in the pipette and you need to take it out and readjust it. So, if it's really full of water and it's stuck at the bottom, you're going to want to pour the bottle out and take it out. Get the water out of there and get the right amount in. So it just barely sinks and, and floats on top of the surface of the water. The idea of the hook challenge of this experiment is to make the pipette or diver at the top of the two liter bottle sink and hook onto the pipette that has already sunk to the bottom. Let's see if I can do it. It may take a few tries, but that's the idea. And this was the Cartesian driver. Ah, Cartesian diver experiment. Thank you for watching.